And right now, we'll be shaping an elephant head silhouette. Use the grinder to remove the, most of the bulk. This is just a... Uh, I don't know what its composition is. I would say sheet metal. It's it's, a, it's a, some kind of sheet metal. I don't know what kind. It's I don't think it's a. It's like mild steel. I don't I don't know. Now this is what an elephant is going to look like to me, so if this isn't an elephant to you, uh, I guess we, we just have different, <laughs> different ideas of what an elephant looks like. Kendall, uh, Kendall always liked elephants, so it's elephant themed. Not sure what day this was, um, probably, well, it had to be, uh, let's see, the 25th. I don't know. Or maybe a Tuesday before Christmas, the day before Christmas or so. I'd love to be able to work on my stuff seven days a week. Whatever this metal is, just like sheet metal, the little burrs that form are harder than I'll get out and sharp. So, I do a lot of filing on it, a lot of sanding. For my own safety. I did have to consult the phone a few times just to just to find a decent picture of an elephant. Most of them had watermarks right where I didn't want them.
pretty relaxing doing this kind of stuff. I'm getting relaxed watching it. You know, occasionally some of these shots are going to be blocked by my head, my hands, my feet, who knows. Now there are shots here. So I don't I don't know about in here, but there's going to be shots where, uh, you know, you can't even see what I'm doing because it's out of frame. That's just bad editing because you wouldn't see that to begin with if I edited it right. This elephant was cooperative. It was aware that it was made out of a strange metal. And it liked the idea that I had in mind for it, so it, it did cooperate as best it could. It's getting there. I didn't want to get mad at me, so I didn't tell it that I thought that its yellow color was a little weird. But later on, I did subject it to uh, some coloring. It didn't mind either. It was happy. It was closer to gray, and it, it likes gray. All its friends are gray. Except for the white one. It's a majestic beast. You know, you watch those animals in the wild and you know something's going on up there. They're thinking. Now, it did tell me that it didn't like its nose. Uh, actually, I don't know what they call it. Oh, it's trunk. It didn't like its trunk all straight like that F felt like it, it it made it feel like it was too uptight so later i i give it a nice bend the kind of bend it really wanted since it was such an easy it's my cup brush As long as you use light pressure and contact it in the right place, it does a nice job. But if it gets caught up in anything, it'll jerk itself out of your hands quicker and I'll get out. Or it would, it would tear that elephant right out of there if it got caught up wrong.
you want the brush to go from from metal to air so you want you want the bristles to roll across the surface and off as opposed to coming from not touching the metal to touching it that's that's what you don't want to happen that's where it will get caught up I'm just trying to put a little texture on his trunk and his ears. He felt he was a little plain and I I kind of agreed. Wasn't much. He didn't like to be flashy. That was something I was planning to do before spring gets here, but depending on how long this house takes, uh, I screwed up when I when I sunk the little bit of foundation for that vice. There's a lot of rock, big rock, underneath uh, that flooring, which is. Uh, I think sand. Well, now it's a, a lot of things, but so when I dug down and I hit that rock, it wasn't really deep enough, but I thought if I spread it out, that would be okay. And I should have known better, but underneath that rock, I think is pretty, pretty nice bed of clay. At least when we were digging the post holes for that, it was. So eventually here, um, see I built a, a Hossfield type bender. And after I poured the concrete and I set that in the concrete with, with um, some bolts. It was during this time of the year. So I gave it, I think three weeks to cure it just wasn't enough uh, I don't think it froze but it wasn't it wasn't enough to uh, fully cure well not gonna be enough concrete never technically cures but uh, <laughs> I put the Hossfield bender in there and I put some some uh, half inch square bar in, and I started bending it just to see what the limits were to this machine and then I put three quarter in there and I, I built an extension for the handle so I was about four feet away from it and I started cranking on it and it was bending it but at some point I heard a crunch and the, the whole thing just kind of started moving so it, I don't want to anchor it uh, to the uprights there holding the walls up because it's gonna rattle and shake and I've got two windows on either side of that well a window on either side it's I just know it's gonna shake and make all kinds of noise now it might not if I attach it down at the bottom so I'm kind of thinking that too but regardless of what I do I still need to anchor that in concrete. So I'm going to have to tear that all up and try to get down below the rocks. I mean, I can. I just thought I could get around it. And that was not correct. It does pretty good for what it is, for what it's 
doing, but there's no way you could put a, a bender in there unless you were bending hot metal. But you're not going to bend coal very, very much. Very thick. This house thing is driving me nuts. A lot of work. I mean, and this is this is this is how I burn burn off steam too, by doing this. And you know, the the, the house things, you know, it it pays off, but oh. I just want to pound stuff. We're getting there. We're getting there. He's a lot happier as trunks pointed up. Now we're just going to put a little paste wax on him. Uh, it's a dark paste wax. So it should stain a little bit. Oh, and when I resync that vice, I'm getting rid of the table that's 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 attached to it. I thought that would be a great idea. You know, you could throw your tools on there, but ah, oh, it's such a pain. It rattles, it jingles. You end up with way too many tools on there. I guess it's not really gray, but he's happy. It's like, it's like he, you know, rolled in some muddy water. All right, now this is the next part of the process. Um, I gotta, I gotta create a small loop in this stainless steel. Again, it's five sixteenth stainless rod. You're going to end up with a, a small loop inside of a big loop. Small loop first. So I take it to my press here. It's a variable tonnage press. It depends on how much uh, oatmeal I had during the day. Tried to shape that thing a little bit in my press.
Okay, now this is the larger circle. Tried a lot of ways to bend that and realized that I could bend it. The circle was getting in the way. So I realized if I bent it this way, I could always fold that circle back down. And it worked pretty darn well. It's kind of like giving a courtesy bend to something you're forging just to get it out of the way. You know you can bend it back. That's something I made uh, too. I think I posted that video. Little, uh, vice jaws with a uh, rod in them. Still just trying to refine that shape. That's the thing about stainless steel too. Um, it is very springy. There's a lot of spring back to it. So whatever you want it to to, uh, to attain as far as, as as a bend, you need to over bend it. Now, I, I did all of this cold. For one, I wanted to see what I could do to it cold. How how to work it. If it, you know, if it didn't work hard too fast. And for the, for the small amount of bending I did, it, it'll work cold. I mean, I could have put this on the bender. I just, uh... Actually, I didn't have a, I, I wouldn't have had a, a die fit, be able to fit in it. Like a, like that big one I had, like that one. Although, if that hole goes all the way through, I don't know if that hole goes all the way through. But I've got, I've got a whole bunch of those that I use in the bender. And that's why I also, on that little vice jaw, um, you know, I, originally I put five eighths posts in it, but the bender takes half inch. So I cut one off and I, I rewalled it a half inch post on it. Now I can use all, and I think you can even see them. There's one sitting behind there, the vise. So now I could, I could use those for other things, not just the house field type bender. back to the press for some shaping. Now I will admit when I when I cut the elephant's silhouette out there was a a piece that I forgot or I didn't even take it into account and that was a little tab on the ear opposite you know the trunk direction 
and the tab was supposed to hold the hold the elephant on this. So without the tab, I had to try something else. Still not round enough. You can really feel that spring too when you tap that with a mallet. So you can see where a tab at that ear wrapped around that would would uh, would hold that nicely and blah blah blah. But no, nope, that's not in the stars. And that's pretty much when I realize it. Like, uh, hmm. So now what are you gonna do? I want to use. I want to use. Fastener. I want to try to avoid epoxies and and welding and all of that in in this type of work, except for like uh, you know the jewel that goes in here. Um, you know I don't have a problem with gluing that in. I don't know if it's the best way to attach it, but... It also doubles as a workbench. A press slash workbench. Slash vice. It's getting there. <laughs> it's so hard to find the center of that camera.
So that's approximately where it's going to go. Mm, but with a different attachment method, I guess. This was going to be a pin, uh, you know, like a scarf pin type thing, but because I knew she, you know, she liked elephants. Okay. She might wear, but she's also the type of person that won't wear that kind of stuff anyway. So <clears throat> I had to change my mind on what it was going to be. press action I could have edited this this bunch out here all I'm trying to do is refine the shape a little bit more but I like to watch it so I like to know what I went through so I don't have to go through it again I'm gonna have to remember this stuff when I am looking for small springs. I don't know what kind of fatigue it can take, but. Basically, in order to attach that, I needed to make that circle a little bit smaller. I'm going to give the elephant an earring. And it's going to become a, a she. But in order for me to give it an earring that'll fit, 
uh, without, you know, being too close to the edge. It's got to be a little smaller. which in the end actually worked out better. Nah, turn it over. Yeah, there you go, that's a better size. You want the moon just over the trunk. Elephants can have earrings. So the earring, um, there wasn't much to show with this construction. Basically, one end of uh, I think it's eighth inch square, mild steel, had a like a wishbone shape cut into it. And then I roll that over into a ring. If that's the original yeah yeah that's stainless I test fit it on a piece before I even put it on that stainless okay so we know one end fits on that pretty well at the other end all I do is peen over the edges of this so it can't come through the little square hole I made in the elephant's ear for his earring, her earring.
That had to be one big needle. Now, since everything fits okay, I'll go ahead and tighten up that ring. Now, I was going to put the two glass beads on the bottom like that, two blue glass beads. When I tried drilling them, they exploded. I think it was too much heat uh, and it was pretty cold out there too at the same time. So I just sanded, filed and sanded the edges uh, slightly round, just a hair, just knocked off any burrs. And with, with one of the beads or one of the glass beads uh, glued in place for a moon. Now I don't get a chance to show this finish. What finished is with a piece of leather that you can hang it in your window and catch the light. And that blue glass bead is really kind of alluring. I still have to color that little earring there. A little dab of super glue all the way around that and a little piece of leather string. Hang it from a window, catch the light. Thanks for watching, subscribe, click the like button, and share this video for more.